Hey, my name is Stephen Beecham, and here's what's happening this week on CNET's Crave Blog. The Virtuix Omni Gaming Treadmill is a round concave surface designed to let you walk and run around in a virtual gaming environment, and it's now up for pre-sale. $499 gets you the treadmill, a belt, studded low friction shoes, as well as tracking hardware and software. The Virtuix Omni can be used with any game that uses keyboard input, but it's best used with the Oculus Rift which is currently only available for $300 pre-orders as a dev kit. The Virtuix Omni started as a Kickstarter campaign with a goal to raise $150,000. By the end of the campaign they had raised a staggering $1,109,351. Listen to Wikipedia is an open source project which data mines Wikipedia's recent changes feed, turning additions into atmospheric bells and subtractions into soft guitar strumming. The pitch changes according to the size of the edit. Green circles represent anonymous edits, purple circles indicate edits by bots, and white circles are edits by registered users. Creators Stephen Laporte and Mahmoud Hashimi are also responsible for the site Listen to Bitcoin, which plays a sound for every real-time Bitcoin transaction. A recent study found that the more you use Facebook, the more miserable you get. Aww. Aww. using Facebook. Now you can give yourself a hearing test on YouTube. ASAP Science created the How Old Are Your Ears hearing test which plays a series of tones at increasing frequencies and gives you the average age group that you can hear them. Make sure you use headphones to listen and watch the video at the highest video resolution for maximum results. Microsoft announced on Tuesday that the UB Interactive is out of beta and now on sale for consumers. The UB Interactive turns any wall or surface into a touchscreen. What once was just a prototype is now the real deal. Using a projector and a 3D Connect sensor, the UB Interactive is able to differentiate between clicking an icon on the surface or just hovering your finger over a button. This also allows for multi-touch gestures for zooming in and out of images and collaborating with others. The UB software comes in four different packages ranging from Basic, which costs $149, to Enterprise, which costs $14.99. The Connect for Windows sensor costs $250. The Blood Clot Bot is a steerable needle built by engineers and doctors at Vanderbilt University. The robot can be operated by a doctor to carefully navigate through the human brain, avoiding vital organs to find blood clots and suck the blood out. The robot has a special telescoping needle that can go around corners and uses ultrasound and CT technology to see inside of a patient's brain as it is operated. The Blood Clot Bot was originally developed to seek and destroy brain tumors, but the inventors quickly found another use for the machine, removing intracerebral hemorrhages, which have a death rate of 40%. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That is the show. As always, you can find all these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com. And maybe you can watch CNET on this week's Crave giveaway. This week, Crave is giving away an LG PA4500 42-inch plasma TV. Go to the blog and enter to win.